up y'all, Dominique Danielle here, and I am back with another story time. As always, it's something crazy, but I gotta tell you about the time that I was set up by a classmate to get jumped. Okay. So let's get right into this because for real, for real, it's serious, okay? I'm gonna keep the curse words at a minimum because I know, you know, that's nice. But certain encounters or, or certain circumstances or certain situations that happen in my life literally cause you to use profanity. With that being said, I'm going to take it as easy as possible. All right, I'm in high school and you know enjoying high school this is after i've already told y'all the, the the story time about me being bullied but this is about another time i go through some bullshit with a guy that i was not interested in <laughs> okay so get this i start going to washington high that's where i graduated from why how be what eh, eh. anyway graduated from booker t washington high school right here in atlanta georgia and i started attending that school and I was fully comfortable because it was the hood it was what I was used to it was what I know you get what I'm saying I'm new to the school but you know it's still like mm, I felt way more comfortable there than I did in Stockbridge get me all right so I start school in Booker T Washington High School and it's going pretty good and I seem to make pretty good friends and mainly guys because guys are mainly more prone to being like okay with me at first. I have a hard time with women sometimes. It takes a very secure woman to be my friend. No jealous type of, it takes a real wholesome type of person that's fully aware of who and what they are capable of. All confidence and positivity in their head to be friends with me because clearly I have a hard time making girls as friends or keeping girls as friends. It's, it's not me. I don't have no like no jealous heart or anything like that. It's just it's just life. It just happens. The guys seem to come up and be cool. Of course, some is trying to holler, some not. But at this point, I am not really that banging. Like I'm not slaying. I had to glow up. I probably was cute, but I I wasn't I wasn't popping. Like I ain't have. Oh it, yeah, it was I was alright. You know, guys would be cool with me or whatever. And I, and I'm the type of person that when I'm cool with a guy, I am just cool with a guy. I am not gonna sleep with you. I am not gonna be friends with benefits. I'm not finna do none of that bullshit. That's just not who I am. So a lot of guys be so surprised when they are friends with me and I stay a friend with them. Like, like what's up nigga? Like, what, what's happening? No, just, like, I'm like one of the guys. It's a guy, I'm gonna, Name him Trey. Trey was on the football team and apparently he, you know, he knew everybody in the school. They grew up together. Everybody knew each other for the most part. And Trey seemed to be pretty cool. I believe it was arts. It was an art class or it was something like that. A class that we had together at first. We started this class together and he seemed to be pretty cool. Like, hey, you know, you, you know, you're welcome to do this or you, you know, you can come sit over here or whatever. And he was really, really cool at first, right? Just cool. He didn't give me the impression that he was like, like fully interested, but he gave me the impression that, you know, he might be, but I, I didn't, I just stayed cool. Like, you see what I'm saying? He asked me out, like maybe about two weeks into knowing him, he asked me out. And it wasn't like a like, oh, will you date me type thing. It was just like, oh, you wanna go this, this, and this to this place? And I was like, oh, I can't, you know? Cause my mother was very funny about letting me go places, especially with people, especially being new, especially all that, okay? She was not having it. I was like, I probably won't be able to. I was like, you know, but I appreciate that. You know, after that though, the nigga started acting so funny. Like I'd be like, oh, hey, you know, I go to sit with him or whatever. He'd be like, hey. Got a full blown up attitude like it's like a female. Like, got a whole female attitude. Like, hey. And I already knew what that was about. I already knew. Like, it didn't take me long to get what that was and why he was doing it. After going to Stockbridge and being tortured by, by old boy, this was gonna be a breeze. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I could give a uh, I didn't give a damn about what anybody thought of me at, at this point. 
I didn't been tortured a whole year straight in Stockbridge a year prior to this. I don't care about this. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know why you got attitude and now I don't care. I was still cool with the guys and stuff at the table because it was so funny that I sat with all boys. I was the only girl to sit with the boys that, it was the boys that played basketball and I was the only girl to sit at the table with them. Uh, one day after lunch, we all, you know, uh, we we're all talking and whatnot and a girl comes over to the table and she was like, yeah, uh, Trey, you doing this, this, and this? And I, I guess they was cool. You get what I'm saying? But I didn't say nothing. I didn't know her. I didn't know her from Adam. Like, I don't know her. So I, I didn't have nothing to say. She talking to everybody and I'm eating or whatnot and I ain't paying no attention. I didn't pay the girl no attention. It's to the point where I didn't even know she existed. You get what I'm saying? Like, I paid her no mind. I didn't even recognize her coming up to the table. So apparently she had said something to Trey and he had said something to her, but I'm still just minding my business, eating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause like, I didn't eat. <laughs> anyway, I'm minding my business, just eating or whatnot. And we go to get up, they uh, dismiss lunch and we're going to leave. And so I'm getting my tray and everything and, and they have plastic trays at Washington. So I'm getting my tray to go and dump it and throw it away or whatnot. And so a girl walks up to me and she was like, Trey told me to ask you, why you draw your eyebrows on way up here? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't really understand why you're asking me this question. I don't draw my eyebrows on. That's where they grow. <laughs> like, my brows are naturally just up there. I don't know why they're so far away. I have a lot of room space. I don't know. Like, I don't, I keep them right where they grow. I don't put them up no higher, no lower. I was just like, I don't know and I don't care what he asked you to ask me. She don't know I'm insane. She don't know I'm crazy. I don't care what Trey told you to ask me. Excuse me. And so I walk past her. Walk up to Trey and I'm like, Trey, did you tell some girl to ask me why my eyebrows was on to us? No, I didn't do that. I ain't asked no girl to do that. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I keep it going. After we get back from lunch, we get to economics class and I had economics class with Trey. So me and Trey get into an argument. And he's like, oh, you coming up to me asking me stuff like that. Now I don't know you like that. I'm like, don't have no female coming up to me asking me nothing. Both of y'all can get these motherfuckers hands. Like dead ass. So we like, I mean, like we going into like into it. Cause like I grew up fighting boys. Like I didn't play, like I, I'm not afraid. Like I might lose some shit, but boy will I do some shit. I might lose a fight with a guy, but I have won plenty fights with men myself as well. <laughs> just, just so y'all know. I'm saying to this dude, like, yo, like dead ass, you have another girl come up to my face. I'm gonna whoop your ass and I'm gonna fight her ass too. Like, don't have nobody coming up to me about nothing. You mad because I'm not interested in you. Like, don't, don't play me. I didn't got to the point now where I didn't been tortured and bullied so much last year that when a nigga tried me this year, I'm going in on your ass. I ain't, because I ain't letting up. Like, I'm not finna let nobody run over me. That's just not the way it works. At this point in my life, I was fed up. Like, anybody who wanted the hand, they was gonna get it. I ain't give a shit. We getting into it or whatnot. So another girl is trying to stop him from arguing with me and she acting like she got a problem with me. And I'm like, look, I don't give a f Who don't like me? Who? At this point, I don't care. Finally, the teacher comes and, and they calm everything down or whatever. He's like, so everybody sit down, whatever, whatever. Everybody's shocked as hell. And first of all, I, I can speak up for myself. For a long time, I'm just like, uh, yeah, okay, okay, fine. So everybody was shocked. The next day, we get to lunch. I know off the rip, I don't, I don't fuck with Trey no more. I ain't, I ain't sit with none of them niggas at the table just in case they all got a problem, whatever, what, what, boom, it, it's a wrap. Cause now, dead, like dead ass, when I see Trey, I'm gonna wanna hit him in his you get what I'm saying? Like, that's how I felt. I'm like, all right, I ain't gonna sit with them. I'm just gonna let sit with, you know, cause I still had a couple friends that was really cool with me or whatnot. And it was a girl that I was cool with in high school. I'm gonna call her uh, TT. I sit with TT and another girl that she's cool with. And we're sitting at the table, it's just the three of us. And we sitting with our lunch or whatnot. 
old girl that came up to me yesterday comes up to me again. She's like, yeah, Trey told me about all the stuff that you was talking and that you was talking about me behind my back and all this. At this point, I realized like this dude basically told her this so that she'll want to fight me. And, and he set me up. I didn't know her. Like I had never even seen her before in the school. We went to the same school i didn't know her at all when i when i get mad i try to do things to where i can calm myself down a little bit or i kind of you know um i put a bounce to myself like like trying to come like yo don't let nobody make you this you know extremely angry because you dangerous when you angry like that like so like calm down like day i'm so serious like I, that's how i have to do myself so she up here, you know, she talking and she just saying stuff. So when she gets done, she's like, hello, did you hear me? <laughs> so I looked up and I was like, look, I don't know you. I don't know you to talk about you, but I know you better get out of my face. <laughs> and so, so, and she wasn't in my face. Like she was, she was back a little way and she wasn't in my face, but I was like, get like i'm to the point where i'm like get away from me for i hurt you she was like i'm gonna stand right here and i and i expect you to answer my question i said look i'm going to ask you one more time and i'm going to tell you this one time i don't care about who you are i did not know you existed until yesterday i don't know you Trey set you up to come and say something to me, but I'm telling you, I don't know you. I don't want to know you, but I'm going to ask you to get out of my face one last time because I'm telling you, if I stand up, shit going to get real in here today. I'm not going to play with you. So then at this moment, it's time to leave. Lunch, lunch, everybody's leaving to be dismissed from lunch. Her and the girl that she walked over to me with, cause it was two, it was two of them. And she was like, whatever. And she walked off. And TT was like, girl, I thought you was getting ready to kill that girl. I was like, yeah, I, I asked, I was asking for a reason. Like, yo, just back the she walks off or whatnot, cause I'm getting ready to stand up cause everybody getting ready to leave, but she makes sure she walks off before, before any of that. So after I say what I say to her, she walks off. Everybody starts leaving to go to lunch or, or leaving from lunch to get to class. Throw my tray away or whatnot and I go on about my business and she don't say nothing else to me the entire year. I don't say nothing else to her. Funny enough, later on, after that school year was up, I happened to be walking down the street, coming from the store, cause I was going to the store and I was past, it, it was the store way past my, uh, past the school and all that. And she happened to be walking as well, but she was by herself. And in this moment, I knew like I'm gonna fuck her up. Like I knew I wanted to fight. Like when I seen her, I was like, yeah, I'm finna fuck her up. Cause we, it's just me and her. She can't act like no kind of way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. And in the moment of me walking up on her, she looked at me and she grabbed her stomach to let me know she was pregnant. And I was like, oh, okay. Now, mind you, I don't really, <laughs> like when you've done something real out the way to me, I don't give a damn about what you got going on for the most part. I'm not a disrespectful person. I don't start things. I, I don't, you know, like I'm I'm loyal to a fault and I don't, I don't start. So when you start something with me, nine times out of 10, I don't forgive you. And nine times out of 10, I'll never forget it. <laughs> I try to really, you know, watch myself with that because like forgiveness is important. You want to forgive people. So when she did that, I was just like, all right. And I kept going. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. The savage in me didn't care about no pregnancy, didn't care about none of that. What was that shit you was talking when you was had, when you had your homegirl with you? What was that shit you was talking when we was going to school together? What was that? 
But luckily, you know, I just kept walking and whatnot. She kept walking and I never seen her again. The funny thing about it is I think him and that girl ended up dating um, eventually. <laughs> Ain't that funny? <laughs> so she liked him the whole time, I'm guessing. And so, you know, that's why she was willing to beat me up. Uh, uh-uh. I'm gonna need you to try that again, sis. What was that? Or try... Correction. That's why she was willing to try to fight me. <laughs> For him. <laughs> okay, there it is. That, that, that sounds right. That's it right there. <laughs> Whew. Don't play yourself. So, I ended up moving on with my life and going on and things... Turned out pretty all right for me. I don't know about him or her because I ain't never seen them again. Last time I heard of him, he got kids and everything else and I ain't never heard from her or heard about her since. I don't really care to. <laughs> but uh, this just goes to say that I have dealt with a lot of bitter guys, like, like a lot of men who have gotten angry that I was not interested. This is my thing with guys that do me this way. If it been the other way around, you would expect me to deal with that and go on with my life. I'm not interested in you, move on. But when I don't want a guy in that way, they will set the, they will try to torture. I, yo, I got so many stories about a bitter man. It's ridiculous. Men I've never dated. Men I've never even looked at in that way. Golly, it's ridiculous. But he set me up. He tried to have her fight me. Uh, she didn't get her ass whooped that day because dead ass. School or by themselves, by ourselves. It wasn't no fight to go down either way, which was cool, you know, for her. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't. <laughs> but I don't plan on losing. Shit. Like, just dead ass. Like, you don't come up and start nothing with me and then I lose. That's not the way that works. <laughs> But anyway, for more stories, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I got so much more in store for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I kept the cussing down as much as possible because I know it's like uh, frowned upon. And I do comedy. I love comedy stuff, and you know, a lot of times comedy has a lot of profanity. At least mine does. Anyway, just make sure you guys subscribe again. I will see you next time. All right, I love you. Down Mafia. It's all good. Bye.